Is this the best long travel 29er ever made? Well, it hasn't changed much in years. That's a good sign. This bike is a 2020 Specialized Enduro size S5, the biggest one you can get. It's 35.5 pounds. It's custom built by me with some cheaper components. The base model frame comes with a metal linkage and the S-Works comes with a carbon. This linkage makes it a bit heavier. I was surprised by how nimble this long travel 29er was. It jibbed about as good as a long travel 29er could. The bike is excellent in bermed corners. It jumps really good. The best 29er I ever felt in the air. The bike eats chunderous, rough terrain like it's not even there. When you give this bike a little runway, that's when it really comes alive. It just loves to go fast. You can basically look at the wheelbase of a bike and if it's over 1300 millimeters, it's gonna wanna go fast. This bike is super unique because there's virtually no pedal bob. It's so efficient. And then the second you turn it downhill, it's just bottomless and plush in the rear end. The wheelbase is basically downhill territory, 1300 millimeters, but the bike feels small. This is the Kinevo, same wheelbase. This bike feels huge. All these long, low, slack bikes, they don't do very good on tight corners. The bike is a bit of a dud on green trails, so if you have mellow trails, probably skip this bike. Even with this short 170 dropper post, it's pretty slack seat angle. I would like to see some geometry adjustments. The bike's stuck in race mode. An all alloy frame option would be the best. This bike is super expensive and it's not a good value. But you can watch this video up here on the right and get one for super cheap like me.